Solomon, Solomon, Solomon. T.D. Jakes. Christians and believers. First, before everyone else who don't believe in God through Jesus. I'm going to give my opinion on the matter. It's my opinion. I have a right to it. And you have a right to disagree or agree. All right. That's my disclaimer. Especially if you're a believer, if you, if you believe in God and Abba Father, through Jesus Christ, you know what I'm saying? You read the Bible, try to curb your life somewhat to, towards the righteousness of the Bible. And if you are allowing yourself to indulge in the accusation against T.D. Jakes, you wrong as fuck. God forbid, but let's say it comes out that with proof and receipts that he been having homosexual sex. What the fuck does that have to do with you? If you read your Bible about David, when Saul was trying to kill David, who blessed him, who helped him win victories and wars that otherwise was likely they probably would have got defeated. And Saul, who was his overseer, his king, was trying to murder him. And you know what David did not do? He didn't put his mouth on Saul. He didn't even talk bad about the nigga, bro. Okay? He even got close to him when he was asleep and cut off a piece of his garment, sent it back to him and let him know, hey, bro, I could have killed you, nigga. It wasn't Saul at all that made David not retaliate against him. It was the anointing of God that Saul still carried. Regardless of Saul. Don't forget that. And personally, I don't give a fuck. That ain't going to help me or hinder me in anything in my life. But I do know for a fact, and I don't give a fuck what nobody say. If you listen to T.D. Jakes at any time by choice, you have heard something that came out that man's mouth that helped you or blessed you or encouraged you. That's the anointing of God. That ain't him. I'm not looking or listening to T.D. Jakes. I'm listening for the spirit of God. See, that's what's wrong with y'all. Mm. Okay. Rephrase it. That's what's wrong with a lot of us. We favor the men and the women who are being used by God to help us and bless us and to encourage us with the word of God. But we forget about God. It's God. It's not the person. They're one of us. They're no different than us. And that's the whole thing that needs to be remembered. God say, I will bless those that bless you, those that bless you in secret, and those that bless you publicly, I will bless them because they bless the me in you, says God the Father. He said, I will curse those who curse you publicly and privately. If you bless God, you're going to get blessed. If you dumb as hell like Satan and try to curse God or try to thwart anything that he got going on, then he's going to curse you. And really, it's not him. It's you because you reap what you sow. That's the system of the motherfucking cosmos. Take your mouth off God's anointed. Touch not my anointed, says the Father. Touch not my anointed and cause my prophets no harm. Don't forget, T.D. Jace is, is a man just like me or the crackhead on the street. No different. They're human. Let's say he's, he's guilty. I'm going to pray for that man, bro. I don't give a fuck if he is getting fucked in the ass or he's fucking in the ass. I should pray for him as you would pray for your... Homeboy, who you looking out for, who you just got so much love for, you'll cover all his wrongdoings. Because that's your motherfucking homeboy, or your little brother, or your son. You'll pray for them in private, right? And work on them in private, right? But why not give that man the same respect? He don't know you, and you don't know him. Shh. Now, what if it comes out that he's not? New breed. You have to put your fucking foot in your mouth if it comes out that he's not guilty of that. And you're going to have to. Yeah, you're going to reap what you saw on that, buddy, because you speak too fast. I love you, brother. I really get a lot of insight from you, and you are definitely one of God's handpicked. But sometimes you be got them acting like a little female, bro, when it comes to the teeth. Gossiping. And you don't even know the facts yet. But you're speaking too fast, brother. God is the main topic of your platform. So stop gossiping, brother, because you don't know. And if it comes out that you were right, you still wrong. Because that man has been touched by God. So you should pray for that brother. Instead of trying to expose him, who the fuck are you? 
And I speak that in love, brother. And I'm not going to unsubscribe from your channel. I'm going to keep on watching because you be blessing me. Shit. <laughs> I fuck with you. But I don't fuck with that. And I say the same thing for you if accusations came out against you, my nigga. Of course, I pray that all of this is false. And I rejoice because I know he's going to get blessed some more. Oh, my God. See, people don't know what it is like to suffer or to go through shit on account of God. People turn on you. People don't like you. People take you wrong. Or even if you make a mistake, people never forgive you. You have no idea what it's like, those who don't. And I don't even have an idea of what it's like on TDJ's level. Because you think God just gave that man that anointing? God knowing the end from the beginning just to want to expose him? God give us his believers, his chosen was many chances, way more chances than the world. God exposes the world, not his own. We pray for our own. And if you say all oh, because he don't teach this, he don't teach that, according to your little small section of belief in the faith of God, which is, is wide, some call themselves Israelites, some call themselves Christians, some call themselves believers, some call themselves Jehovah's Witness. It's a big motherfucking fold, bro. Sis, pastor, minister, evangelist, teacher, prophet, apostle. I'm going to cry when I heard this shit. And it wasn't because of T.D. Jace. It was because of that mantle. Mantle, 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 mantle. mantle. And I know that man went through hell way back in the days. And I don't give a fuck if he did turn his back on God secretly and just kept the gift. That's possible. Bro, pray for that man, bro. Because obviously God seen him fit to anoint him. And that'll be a loss to the kingdom of God like a motherfucker. And part of that blood to be on our hands because we want to gossip about our brother. Just like black folk. Right? The fuck out of here. Right. Yeah. So, I just want to put that out there, man. Shh. About T.D. Jakes right now. Shh. Even after the results come out. But who to say they're true? And you ain't going to know because that's between him and his God. Your father. Right? Or no? I mean, do y'all even care about your fellow brothers in Christ anymore? That's going to be our downfall. That's why, mm, then no wonder Christians ain't got no fucking power and devil ain't scared of you. And he don't fuck with you. Hmm. Mm hmm. You have no idea what it's like to have to feel responsible for so many souls that your anointing reaches because they're going to flock to you. You're going to do the best you can in Christ. I am covered for him. The anointing, the anointing, the anointing in him has blessed me. So I'm going to pray for that man who carries that anointing. The fuck? Hmm. It's your boy Solomon. I'm checking out for the end of the truth already.